Oh, there we go. Alright, Mike should be back. Too loud? Let me know if it's too loud. We're talking now? Okay. Uh, can you guys hear music? Get deep in my ears. Yes, music is good. Okay. Look at this. Barely? I can make it a little louder. <laughs> Nummy. She's so cute. Oh. Oh, she broke camera. <laughs> what just happened? Hold on. What was that? Did I run out of juice? What? It's receiving the feed. What the heck? Oh, okay, there we go. Nice, it works again. Is that the heavy grail? Yes, it is. Um, Hobbs Unbox. Holy crap, what? Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. <clears throat> Thank you. Elon Mushiki with the seven months. Lisa, no, with the eight months. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. What's the jazz performance that's playing right now? It is Miles Davis with John Coltrane in Paris, 1960. Like your shirt, thank you. What is the integral of x to the three halves over x squared plus nine? <laughs> I'm not gonna do your homework for you. You do your homework. Winky, do winky wonky dokey, hello. The new week, everyone. How was your weekend? Uh, let me make sure everything's set up. Okay. Nice. Oh, shoot. Someone redeemed. He will redeem feed cats. I guess we start with feed cats then. Hold on. Let me grab their snacks. What's 9 plus 10? <laughs> it's an old meme. 21. Nami nami. Nami nami nami. Nami nami nami. Let me change. Oi! Hold on. Oh man, it died again? What's going on? Okay, I guess we'll do top down cam for now. Let me come here. Ooh, it's dripping, dripping, dripping. Oh crap, I shouldn't do this on a white desk mat. Hold on, let me try to get the wireless cam to work. Okay. Hey, don't knock it. Sit, 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 sit. She ran away. <laughs> Guess you don't want the food. 
Oh. I wish Tao would feed me. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's dark. Sorry. Hold on. Let me see if I could. There's one more. Oh, that's the wrong light. What? Oh, there we go. Fish hand smells like fish now. Okay, it's struggling too much. Tangies are very pog. Wait, what the heck happened to chat? What? What the? Okay, let me go wash my hands. Be right back. <laughs> Scritch. The butt scritches. All right, hold on. Let me get this fixed. Why did that happen? I thought I locked it. Transform. Copy transform. Huh? All right. I'm just gonna remove this. Copy this. And then we hide. I'm so confused how that moved. I, huh. Okay, we are good now. Mr. Lightning Keyboards, hello. You need some Gundams? I did consider streaming Gundams, but I feel like it would just take way too long. Maybe, maybe if it was during a subathon. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Been waiting a year for this build? Yeah, I haven't. Mine's just been sitting in my closet for a while, so I thought I should build it. It's been a while. Uh, neck your, what? Necky Nor with the seven months? Thank you. Clackers with the 22. Traily with the tier one. Thank you. You know, Mushikini with the seven months. We tell Moksuri Hado. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Is this a personal build? Yes, this is a personal thermal you just have keyboards lying around in your closets i yes thermal very lit still think it's one of the cooler boats build board little boards out there yeah i think so too i don't think anyone's quite really produced a similar leaf spring plate design like that since it's come out i love v1 tangies yeah i also had some v1 tangies that i had to get rid of thought i'd use it today what stabs are you going to use we have tx stabs we did check them out already i am a huge fan i'm gonna try using much less lube though uh the first time we used it it was i think i over lubed it it requires a lot less lube than i anticipated so today we're gonna try using less let's put this keyboard away all right give me those tangies dude these tangies are kind of rare now 
Uh, it's a pretty good board, but I just sold like 60% I want to sell it. I'm highly considering desoldering a build I have with V1 Tangies just to harvest the switches. Ooh, I still think V1 Tangies sound pretty nice in the in the right build. Maybe try using 205G0. Do, do pe <coughs> have people used 205G0 with um, the TX tabs? Is 205 okay? What are the comp pros compared to the V2? I'm, I'm not a fan of how the V2 sound. The, I think the original C3s, the V1s were made by Gateron. The new V2s are JWK, I think. So different menu, they, entirely different switch, the V2s. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the new V2s, or the V2s in general. I use 205 for everything. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll try 205 on the TX tabs today. See how they last. Okay. Still do push-ups? No, I started working out, so I have disabled push-ups. This room's also not as big anymore to do push-ups in. 205G0 is okay with TX tabs. I see. I use 205 for everything, but mostly because I'm broke. Okay, okay. Yeah, today we can try using 205. Ooh, this box is nice. Foundry, Wilba Tech. We did build the uh, one of the early protos. It didn't have this packaging, so it's nice to see the packaging. I got the HHKB version. I'm not crazy about HHKB, but I, I think the thermal was one of the few boards where I liked the HHKB better. Kuro, is that black? I still don't have their color code. Thermal looks best on HHKB? Dude, agreed. Agreed. I don't normally buy HHKB. It's usually just for Topper. But on the thermal, it looked too nice. It's the edge design. Mm, thermal only looks good in HHKB. Dang, okay. Chat agrees. Wow. I thought I was being cool. You have any Rama board sitting in your closet? I have my U80 still. I have a Koyu. Did I ever buy an M60? I think I skipped out on M60, but I have I have the Kara Protos as well. Still in the Bay Area? No, I moved out of the Bay a long time ago. Uh, I think I've developed an idea of how why I like HHKB versus WinQS for keyboards. Mostly has to do with bezel size and how the blockers can open up the look. Mmm, interesting. Bezel size. Huh, I wonder if that's what I base my decisions off of. I just don't like the layout, period. <laughs> I'm not crazy about the HHKB layout, so I rarely go for... It's not even a aesthetic thing. I'm just not crazy about the HHKB layout. Alright, but nice box. I mean, this is old. I feel like we don't need to show the packaging as much. You guys have probably seen other thermal builds already. What plate did I get? I personally hate thick bezels. I, I mean, I gravitate towards thinner bezels too, but sometimes thick can be nice. Just depends on how cohesive it is, if it works. Uh, it's an aesthetic thing for me for sure. Honestly, Winkulus Ages Cube are pretty much identical layouts for me. That's interesting. I do agree, HHKB and Winky List, they are kind of identical since you're removing one key, but I don't know, something about the HHKB bottom row placement, I just dislike more than Winky List. <laughs> I hate Winky List, but love Win I hate HHKB Winky List strange. Mm. When bezels work, they look stunning. Agreed. Thermal doesn't fit in a 65% case. Wait, wasn't Thermal Plus 65? I skipped out on Thermal. I thought Thermal Plus was 65. They made a 65% version, no? Yeah, that's 65. <clears throat> I don't usually like HHKB, but Nathan is correct. The HHKB on Thermal looks great. Wow, so I'm guessing most of you guys purchased this in HHKB then. Ooh, this plate is sexy. This is a sexy plate. Silicon Valiant, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Razzle the 19 months, thank you. 
It's weird seeing you with black here. <laughs> Same. Traley with the gifted. Thank you as well. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Loving the plate? Yeah, this is this for sure. One of the prettier, prettier plates I've seen in my lifetime. Just how the leaf spring cuts look. It's a nice little rectangle too. Ooh la la. Did I get is this aluminum? Oh, okay, this. I believe it's aluminum. I don't think this is brass. This is for sure aluminum. But this coating is interesting. Or is this anno? What is this? It's an aluminum plate, but it looks PVD almost. I forget what the uh, the this is it on this. No, they just call it the plate. It's polished. Oh, this is just polished. Interesting. This actually looks really nice. I don't think I feel like polished alu you don't see as often in this hobby. Yeah, it almost looks PVD, but it's not. It's for sure aluminum. Very nice. Polished and smooth, just like everyone's brain in here. <laughs> Have you guys been playing Lost Ark? I saw everyone streaming Lost Ark today. Oh, oh, it's not screwed on. Oh, oh shoot! Those were the screws. They're just loose. What? Okay, let's hope I didn't miss or lose more screws. I think I only heard two drop. Why are they not tightened? <laughs> Did everyone's come like this? I played the beta for a bit and it was pretty fun. Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't even buy it yet, so. Screws that were in the bag? No, this bag is not opened. I think it's just not screwed on all the way, yeah. Check paper for more. No, no, I, I heard two dinks. I'm pretty sure it was just those two. All right, this is the case. Ooh. Hmm, did I not get a red plate? I thought I would have gotten a red plate. Chat, what is a thermal? This keyboard is the thermal. This keyboard kit, this board is called the thermal. It came out, this board is actually kind of old. 2019, I want to say, 2018 maybe. I think I built this prototype back when I was still in the bay. So maybe it's 2018. Uh, I am also building this very late. A lot of people, I mean, the group I ended a while ago. I just never got around to building mine. Oh, it's 2019, really? 2019? Oh, actually 2019, I was still in the bay. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You are correct. Okay, let's check the accessory box. I thought I got a red plate. What else did I? Okay, more screws, more hardware. Oh, looks like I also got artisan keycaps. We can use those. New York? What? Oh, Rama work. Hold on, let me open this plate. You did build one two years ago? Yeah, yeah, I got sent one of the early protos. <clears throat> if this is the red plate, I'm gonna use the red plate. Because your he keyboard heats. Oh, we got the red plate. Nice. Ooh, this red is beautiful. Okay, it looks kind of orange there. Oh my, why does this camera keep dying? I don't understand. All right, it looks a little orange on this camera. It's not orange. It's a nice red. Let's actually put the silver plate away then. Robo Red 2 OP? Yeah. Red was too powerful? Agreed. Okay. 
Okay, I got two PCBs. Ooh, one hot swap, one solder. Do I go hot swap or solder? Hmm. Does chat have a preference? I like the new overlay. Thank you, thank you. Is there a VOD for the build of the current keyboard? Yes, I keep all my VODs on a separate channel. Uh, hot swap is fine for HHKB if you're not going to do stepped caps control. Mmm. Mmm. Solder hot swap. Notice your sh be nice, sh say hi shirt in one of your older videos. Are you into cycling? I am not. I just like the, the graphic. <laughs> what are the layout options on HHKB? You know, I'm kind of down for hot swap. I'm not entirely sure if I'll like the view on tangies in this. Let's go hot swap. What else is in the bag? We get uh, accessories and other stuff. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Let's start by installing the feet. There's no way you keep the view on tangies in? Oh, I might. I personally still like V1 Tangies. Did you ever get your black Herman Miller chair? Oh wait, what? I was never expecting a black Herman Miller chair. Dumb question, but what exactly is HHKB? Uh, it's, it's two things. Actually, this is the wrong board too. This, this keyboard case is the heavy grail, but there is a keyboard called the HHKB. That's what is the uh, internals of this. This is the HHKB keyboard, but it is also synonymous with the layout. This layout is also, people call it the HHKB layout nowadays. Face cam and audio aren't synced. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think, I think my, uh, my thing is having issues today. So HHKB, I feel like it's technically the keyboard. We should probably be, be saying HHKB layout, but most people get lazy and don't say HHKB layout. They just say HHKB. So if it has the same layout as this, it's also HHKB. And then there's Topra HHKB and MX HHKB. Cause Topra, this one has a 6U spacebar. But if you go HHKB on a Cherry MX build, there's a good chance it'll probably be with a 7U spacebar. But that's probably not as important. Sugar Cookie, think we're the five months. Is there any HHKB layout board that's budget for broke people like me? Yeah, the Kara. Well, you can't buy the car right now, but the car was came out in the HHKB. Um, you can also pick up the D60 or HHKB. There's there's a couple boards on KBD fans. Tokyo 60 as well on drop. Tokyo 60, yeah. K, well, they asked they ask for budget options. K is not budget. Use actual HKB. You can, yeah, you could also consider getting a HHKB used. I think that's a great way to get into a Topra. Try it out for not as expensive. <laughs> Have you gotten the M65 yet? I did not buy the M65. I had the M65A a while ago back when I started, did not really care for the M65B. Mr. Barnumbier, hello. Yoshi with the Prime, Ryan Agile with the tip, thank you. I uh, haven't been on stream since the Bay and push-ups. Happy to be back, just passed my instrument check ride. Pilot exam today, excited for the stream. Whoa, a pilot exam stream, congratulations. Felix Bors with a 16, federal booty investigator with a tier one. Hawk with the prime, scream cheese with the seven months. If you could only lube one subcomponent of a switch, which one would it be? Stem? 
No. I think if I could only lube one subcomponent of a switch, it might actually be spring. Uh, because sp I think spring ping is way more annoying than scratch. You could, with enough use, it'll eventually, the stem will eventually smoothen out with use. Just give it like a year or two <laughs> and you won't even need lube. But spring noise, you can't get rid of unless you lube it. So I would say spring for sure. Some people like scratch. Yeah, some people don't mind the noise as well. Uh, oh my, Parnoon beer with the five gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. How was everyone's weekend? Let me unscrew this. This is a little worrying how only some of the screws are there. I don't want to bend it. Spring goes, goes boing boing, yeah. Oh, this is using Philips? Lovely vlog, thank you, Mr. Koopo. It's uh, it's very old. <laughs> Dude, are you guys caught up on Demon Slayer? I'm so sad, it's already the season finale. Did you guys see the announcement? This week's episode, it's gonna be longer. But it is so sad. The year just started and the anime is the season's already over. <laughs> I'm one episode behind on Demon Slayer. I, the season is crazy. How long do we have to wait for season three? I don't know about that. Yeah. No spoilers? Yeah, I'm, I won't spoil, but man, it is insane. This season, or this this past week's episode was, the animation was crazy. Okay, uh, it's hot swap. I guess we don't even check. Let's just go straight to the stabs. So, so good, yeah. Probs Club's the first one, two episodes are one hour long. Nezuko lives in a box spoiler, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, season 3 still coming out before next Teha keyboard of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need left shift. Do we split backspace? I'm guessing, oh, hot swap, hot swap might actually force me into a split backspace. Oh yeah, we're forced to split backspace. Okay. So we only need left shift, enter, and spacebar. Okay, nice. Nice. Yes, hello? Okay, this might be sacrilegious for someone like someone like Lightning. I I like my 60%. HH gave you no split backspace. I personally don't mind full backspace on HHKV. <laughs> Do you watch Attack on Titan? Yes, I am also caught up on Attack on Titans. You are trolling? I'm not trolling. I think full backspace look good in any layout. Who needs the functionality? All right, no 205G0 today. We're going full, wait, sorry, no, no XHBDZ. We're going full 205. Would you ever build a 40%? We have in the past, but it's it's pretty rare. I'm not crazy about 40%. Tehan님 안녕하세요. 붕어알님 안녕하세요. My wish is to hear the Teha jingle. All right, here's the Teha jingle. 205 lit.
so loud. Oh, is it too loud? Let me, I'll fix it later. I just saved 2 million channel points. <laughs> oh, damn it. Crap. I forgot I made it redeemable. Okay, no more, no more free jingles. How do you crouch and sneak in games with HHKB? Well, you, you reprogram caps lock to be control. Generally control is crouching, no? Shift walk is usually to walk or run. And then crouch is for, or control is for crouch, sorry. How am I supposed to live, love, laugh in these? <laughs> I'll trade some rigged predictions. Okay, gaming on HK pretty easy. Yeah. Unless you need F keys, HHKB is pretty nice. Is your blue HHKB Cerakoted or powder coated? This is powder coated. I don't think Norbauer deals with Cerakoting at all currently. Yeah, most of his finishes are either powder coat actually all of his finishes might be does he even offer anodized products at the moment most of norbar stuff is a uh, powder coated just don't play starcraft with hhkv yeah i think starcraft is probably impossible on hhkv you definitely need other uh, fro for that with soldering r and d's ts 100 you seem to always use same stabilizer do you plan to use other stabilizer Wait, what do you mean? I'm using TX dabs today. TX dabs. Uh, I probably will never use zeal stabs just because it's too expensive for me. I build and have way too many keyboards to afford zeal stabs. But we've definitely used zeal stabs for client builds here and there. Owl lab stabs, I don't know if I I don't know. I, I purchased sta stabilizers in bulk, so I'm just trying to finish my current batch first before I buy more. He wants you to start using CoStar. No, definitely not. The Leo the Cappuccino with the 15 months. Thank you. Lil Pie with the 31. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is Zeal not a sponsor? No, Zeal is a sponsor, but I don't get free stabs. <clears throat> what about stabies? We have used stabies. I still have a couple more sets left. Woo. Yeah, but I, I might hold off on stabies for a bit because I have some PBT keycap sets that I want to use and stabies don't, uh, they're not fully optimized for PBT keycaps at the moment. You need better negotiation skills. No, that's not even negotiation. I mean, the amount of stabs I ask for is a lot. Yeah. Because I go through sta uh, st stabs pretty quickly. It's a lot of monies. Sponsors don't give up free all that much as people think. Also true, yes. Yeah, I mean, there, is, there isn't there is much, if you think about it, for sponsors to give out. Because most of their products are group buys. Yeah. Like, like, like switches, maybe. But other than switches, not as much. TX, TX stabs work okay with PBT. I'm not sure on that, actually. We're going to find out today. Oh, no, they do. I, we, we used TX tabs last week with PBT. It works. Yes. But we didn't test with all PBT keycaps. Do you have Rich Brian's number? No, I do not. Uh, hence why stabs make sense. Yeah, except zeal stabs are expensive. <laughs> I mean, one set of zeal stabs is like, what, 30, 40 bucks? That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> K105TY, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Well, welcome, Raiders. Hello. Oh, Nami's here.
Did you join Piggy 60 group by? I don't know. Are they not just Duroc stabs? No, Zeal stabs are not Duroc stabs. But I would say Zeal, Duroc perform pretty similarly. Budget built coil cable recommendations. I have a command exclamation cables. You watch the Olympics? No, I'm not following this Olympics at all. What are group buys on KBD fans? I never understood it. You can think of group buys as Kickstarter projects. You're essentially joining a Kickstarter. If you've never joined a Kickstarter, you can think of group buys as a pre-order that is not necessarily guaranteed to be made. There is no security. Well, I mean, most likely with KBD fans, you do have security. Uh... Anyone in the chat thinking of taking part in the Vic reaction? Ooh, for the, the key cult board? I saw. You should check out the crazy Korean short track controversy. Oh shoot, what controversy is there? Did Korea cheat? Or did someone crash? Was it intentional crashing? I had a friend bid 4k, Jesus. What did the Vicky Bauer 2 go for? Oh, I'm not sure. Did Garrett release the price? I like how the first thing you think of is if Korea cheated. No, 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 I, I didn't necessarily mean if, I didn't mean to say Korea cheated. That was just a general, did some team cheat, sorry. And Korea was somehow involved. This is what I meant. I did not mean to implicate the Korean team. Koreans are known to be dirty? Wait, I don't... Has there been Korean... Has there been instances of Korean short track athletes cheating? I thought it was usually Korea got screwed over by other teams for short track. Like, I... I mean, it's been a while. I'm not... I don't remember all the Olympics. Because Korea's pretty... Korea's pretty good for short track. I feel like they usually get trolled on. They usually get griefed by other teams. He said the invoice price was 2501 I see. How tall are you? I am 5'8". Koreans cry foul over short track. Korea is goaded in short track? Yeah, agreed. Both men were punished for coming into contact with other skaters because of an illegal late pass. Oh, I don't I don't really know the rules of Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, whoa, 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 what? The Alex cut. He straight up pushed the guy. Dude, that's for sure illegal, no? You can't do that. That they lodging appeals? I mean, I don't know the rules of short track, but this looks illegal. <laughs> nah, it's fine? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't think you can do that in short track. <laughs> My brother got screwed. Wait, this guy's your brother? Like blood brother or like friend brother? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try putting on less 205 than I usually do. Normally I would coat the wire until it is fully white, but this time you could still see the wire peeking through the coat of lube. Let's see if this is enough.
Which tabs are these? These are the TX tabs. Oh, that's a little too much. Vinny Chu, hello. Uh, I literally spent 20 minutes trying to pop the wire back and you do like it's nothing. I have been doing it for a while now. <laughs> So much beat easy on my hands after Sag. Yeah, you get you get used to it. I also watched. I uh, I binged all of Hawkeye this weekend. Hawkeye. And I watched Black Widow. And Captain Marvel for the first time. And then I'm going to wait till Boba Fett ends to binge watch that. But now I have no shows to watch. Thinking of maybe starting an anime. Hawkeye was good. Have you seen Archive 81? No, I have not. Last episode's tomorrow? Ooh. Watch The Witcher? Ooh, that is on my list. I have not seen any of The Witcher. I want a whole Yelena movie after Hawkeye table scene? True, Yelena's pretty dank. Do you read webtoons? Read the boxer? No, I have no, I don't read webtoons. Maybe I should. I want to see what the solo leveling hype is about. My friend recommended that I watch an anime called is it Kaguya. I finished Ozark. Yeah, Ozark's really good. I finished Ozark. Thinking of either starting Kaguya. Just joined. Have you watched Demon Slayer? Yes. I don't either. My friend recommended The Boxer. Pretty good, I see. Oh, I've also heard great stuff about uh, Tower of God. I was about to leave Kaguya. Yeah, my friend said it was his... Let me see what it said. I think it's top three animes for him that he recommended. I should update my anime list. Yeah, Kaguya-sama. He also recommended I the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Is that a good anime? Also, Dress Up Darling. I haven't heard about that. Have you watched Osama Ranking? No. Yes, Slime Good. Okay, there's also some other recommendations that he gave. What was it? Oh, have you guys watched Ranking of Kings? He also recommended Ranking of Kings. He said it's really good. Oh, have you guys seen Bell? I want to watch Bell. That's available in theaters now, too. Johannes, things were just 16 months longer than my longest relationship. GG. Slime good? Of course, lightning washes, dress up darling. Okay. Fire Force. I think I've heard of Fire Force too. Bell visual, so good, I see. Assassination Classroom. I don't think I've heard of Assassination Classroom. The ranking of kings is Osama ranking. Oh, I see, I see. Long time no see, what's up, Antidote? How many actuations do you think it takes for MX Blacks to be broken in or not have scratch? Uh, I can't give you a number. I'd say at least like 100,000 if I have to guess. You have a lot of anime to catch up on? Yeah, I'm not a weeb, man. I haven't seen too many animes in my life. I just... I pick and choose the ones that I think are going to be good, but I, I do I do enjoy watching them. I will get to weeb status one day. There are many classics I have yet to discover. 
Nathan is an okay weave. I can help you catch up. <laughs> Man, that's what that's all I do these days. On the weekends. If I'm not seeing friends, <laughs> I just couch potato at home. Watch watch anime or TV shows. I'm getting old. I don't want to go out anymore. Watches One Piece though has that has enough content for a hundred animes. True. It's the better TV content anyway. Yeah. Still play CSGO. I have I don't, but I am considering getting back into it. Yeah, I've been I've been practicing here and there on the range again in Valorant. I'll probably try to get back into FPS. I I also heard there's a new season uh what is it, Bleach? The final season of Bleach is coming out apparently. I do not watch Bleach. Are you guys gonna watch Bleach? One Piece Bassett, best anime? Agreed. Agreed. Ever tried Tarkov? Nope. Have you tried Stein? Oh, Stein's Gate is on my list of to watch. Stein's Gate for sure. I've been recommended many times. Oh, I, I finished. Yeah, I, I watched Mushoku recently. Dude, Mushoku Tensei is so good. I think I enjoyed it much more than... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, the other isekai that, it, that was inspired by it. I enjoyed it much more. Ah, oh, what's it called? The one with the one with Megumi. Megu? No, not ReZero. It's the other popular Oh Konosuba, yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it much more than Konosuba, yeah. I mean not not that Konosuba was bad, but I felt like Mushoku had much more substance. It was very dark. I mean not that not that dark is necessarily good, but Had a lot of uh, ebb and flow with comedy, dark, dark topics. I'm so sad it's already, I'm caught up. I need more. Um, CBD streams, think of the prime sub. Fexus games of the 17. What's your all time favorite video game? Ooh. All-time favorite video game. I think it has to be StarCraft. Space Cables, English of 26 months. Thermal build, yes. Mr. Zen, what's up? Using your switches today? I think it's StarCraft. I could always... I'm always down to watch StarCraft gameplay. I don't think I've ever been bored watching a StarCraft. Well, I mean, I guess I guess StarCraft can be boring if there's no action, but I think StarCraft is timeless. Have you watched Cowboy Bebop? Yes. I'm a bad Korean, not good at StarCraft. I'm also not good either. I mean, I don't even play it anymore. I'm like low key down to play StarCraft on stream, but I'm very bad. <laughs> I feel like StarCraft has so much potential to be a good game. It's just RTS is not a very, it's not a very popular category at the moment. <clears throat> I'm a bad pole then, I suck at shooters. <laughs> Wait, you're not, you're not a bad Soran. But I guess compared to me, compared to the pros. <laughs> In my eyes, you are good Soran. Are StarCraft and LoL similar? No, very different. I'd watch you play StarCraft campaign. Ooh, playing campaign might be an idea. Uh, RTS is in tape. Yeah, I feel like RTS games, well, okay, not all RTS games, but StarCraft for sure, I think it's very entertaining to watch. 
Like if I feel like if you if you combine StarCraft now with like the level of hype casting that like Lee has, for example, it could be pretty entertaining. But no one wants to play RTS. Smooge. Tommy Galaxy is great. Is that an anime? StarCraft is more entertaining than League to watch? Yeah, I agree. I feel like StarCraft... Yeah, it's a game that I... like. I, I'll have periods where I come back to watching pros play. But it is also a very intense game. I think that's also why it probably died off. Like the... This, the see the learning curve and like the ceiling to hitting the pro scene is very hard. There's just so many complexities about the game. Wish RTS came back to mainstream. Same. I I I love RTS. Who knows. I also have nostalgia, tried to watch StarCraft while going up, same. Yeah, I feel like RTS will eventually come back. Just gotta wait. Ever played Quake? No, I've never played Quake. Melee is still my favorite game to watch. I didn't really grow up playing uh, Melee or any of like the Super Smash. Didn't own a console. Yeah, I missed out on all the console games growing up. Just play Age of Empires 2? There was a, uh, wasn't there an Age of Empires resurgence recently on Twitch? <laughs> I could be down, I could be down for Age of Empires. I'm more of a, I'm more of an Age of Mythology guy though. No RTS games as of late, maybe just Age of Empires 4? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's going to take Riot to come out with an actual RTS game for people to pick up RTS again, but it's just a dead category at the moment. <clears throat> Alright, let's test these stabs. Do you play Civ? No, I've also never played Civ. Also got some work to have a good kill. Thank you. Faith and I used to play AOE 2 all the time. You should play. I could be down. I could be down for, for this throwback game. <laughs> At the competitive level, it's pretty StarCraft-like, right? That's what I heard. Oh, I've never even seen competitive attack on, or not attack on Titan, <laughs> Age of Empire. BFME2ROTWK. Is that Battlefield? I don't know what that stands for. Do you like the ALT soundtracks? I do. Ooh. I think I'm going to buy Northgard again. What the heck is Northgard? Red Alert 2? Oh, why does Red Alert sound familiar? I'm guessing I didn't play it since I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, I've never played Red Alert 2. But it does sound familiar. Uh, damn, dude, I don't even think I was in the hobby when the V1 Tangies first came out. Yeah, their, their reign was short-lived. But you can't get these anymore, I think. These are pretty old switches. Battle for the Middle Earth 2 Rise of the Witch King. Oh, is that a good game? I've also never played... No, just kidding. I take that back. I have played a couple Lord of the Rings games. There was one for the Game Boy that I played growing up. I forget. I feel like an actual Lord of the Rings game would be sick. If you can combine Lord of the Rings with StarCraft... Oh, that would be sick. And you can choose maps that were in the the actual story. Ooh. 
Did you play the loader custom maps in StarCraft? No, I did not play. I haven't played many StarCraft custom games. Open world Lord of the Rings would be cool, yeah. That's what it was? Ooh, hold on, let me look at this. Is it is there a game that holds up though? Battle for the Middle Earth 2. How good does this game look? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh shoot, you can actually build a lot of units. Hmm, oh. interesting. Not really. EA licensing screwed it over. Urukai Rush. <laughs> Played this on 360 all the time. You can't get it legally anymore. Oh, smudge. Okay, I think no rattle. Left shift could use a little more. Let's actually use a syringe today. Did you just test that with Oblivion? Yes. Yeah, that, I think I think that's one thing I did not like about Warcraft. The the unit cap is way too low. Like, I feel like what's fun about StarCraft is that you can actually build a massive army. Whereas Warcraft, what is it? Isn't your 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 army count is limited to like ninety, right? Or a StarCraft, it was 200. I want like a, I want an RTS game where you can build massive armies. Or you can probably run that, you can probably handle those with GPUs nowadays. Okay, let's not put in too much. Nice. Total war time. Is that a game? Warcraft campaign? Yeah, Warcraft campaign is fun. Did you ever play any sports games? No. I mean, I've played FIFA and like uh, 2K here and there. But I didn't grow up playing it. I, I, never, I didn't own a console until recently. How do you get lube in there? Just brush a general amount on the inside? Yes, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. Check out my YouTube channel. Can you please show how you inject lube into the stabs? <clears throat> okay, when you pull up a stab on the back, you can see where the wire shows. You stick your syringe in there and that's where you inject the lube. Why Tangies V1s? I just feel like no one uses these anymore. I had some laying around to use. That's literally the large scale battle RTS series. I've never heard of this series. <laughs> what gauge is the syringe? Uh, I have no idea. I have it linked on my gears list though. If you type in exclamation gear, I just bought it off Amazon. That's only if you didn't get enough on the initial pass. Yes. I, I do still prefer brushing it on and then using that to touch it up. Does the syringe method still work with BDZ? No, you cannot use this with BDZ because it's way too thick to shove out of a syringe, I think. Yeah, it's too thick. Check out Total War 2 screenshots. Oh, 
Oh, this is by Warhammer. Ooh. What the heck? You can summon water cyclones? What is that? <laughs> and there's dragons? Ooh, this kind of looks like Warcraft. Or does Warcraft look like this? Uh. There's a Warhammer version. I see, I see. Wildcat injects BDZ with syringe on stabs? Oh, really? It's possible? Okay, I, I mean, I guess if you're strong enough, it might be possible then. Warhammer setting is a bit different from Warcraft. Uh, I've never played Warhammer. What switches and cases of the keyboard you are using? Uh, it's the Heavy Grail that has Topra switches. Is there a recommended way to keep the two pin separate LEDs in place when soldering? Uh, you can tape it. What I do normally, I just normally uh, I install the, I put the LED and I solder one side and then as I heat up that one side, I move it around to the position that I want and then do the other side. There's a space themed RTS back in the day called Homeworld. I have never heard of Homeworld. Off to chill by, all right, have a good one, sorry. This carbon fiber pl plate has clackier and stiffer than FR4. Yes. Hmm, is this not clipped in all the way? Oh, that's what it was. How do you put switches in to prevent the PCB from popping out? I am a first time builder. Wait, what do you mean PCB? prevent the PCB from popping out. Oh, you mean like the PCB doesn't stay in place like this? Uh, it really just depends on the tolerance of the, the pinholes on the PCB and the switches you're using. If you find that it doesn't stay in here, uh, what, pe what people generally do, they'll put in a couple like anchor switches, maybe the four corner ones, and then solder those down first and then put the rest in. But yeah, I mean, so sometimes it's just inevitable you'll just have a, a loose PCB. Microdose Alpha, hello. How's the arthritis? I don't have arthritis. Any recent setup videos on YouTube? I made one a couple months ago, that's about it. I typically anchor them first if they are three pin. Yeah, that also works. I ran out of solder before I could solder my switches. Time to buy more. Uh, have you seen the Sneakbox AVA? Yeah, that's been, that was hyped a while ago, you know? NE Thermal Plus Avail. Wait, have Thermal Pluses shipped or no? I can't remember if I've seen them in the wild. I want to say no. I don't think I've seen many Thermal Pluses. 
Not yet, though. They have not shipped. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Have you ever bought any Rama keycap sets? Yes, I have. Uh, I've tried their grid keycaps. I am waiting for the Kate keycaps as well. I think those are the only two sets or full sets that Rama has ever run. Would you ever consider doing a stream set of vid? Overlays, gears, how everything works? I'm not so sure. I mean, there's tons of other like stream guru channels out there. I mean, I, I cover my stream setup in my old video, my old set of video. It hasn't changed much from then. Oh, they are caps? I see. Yeah, maybe once I like make my setup, setup even more crazy, I might do one. But yeah, I feel, I feel like there's already a lot of tutorials on how to set up overlays. Uh, I mean, my overlays are also, all my overlays are custom, so I can't really make a video on it. But there's also tons of, uh, there's websites now that you can buy like overlay packs from. And then you just add them to OBS. How much tool five grade zero would you recommend for TX tabs? I, for this build, I put on, I wanna say like a third of how much I normally put on. What if I'm trying to get like you, my boy? I'll think about it. Yeah, I, I am working on the next upcoming video, but it is not a set of video. One day I'll get some TX tabs to try. Yeah. Wait, did you not get in on the latest sale? They had one for the V2s, I think. That good? Yeah, the tolerance is pretty good. The TX tabs are very prone to being overloaded. Like, you just need to put on a little bit. I'm just getting some aftermarket. Oh, it sold out instantly. TX tabs or Stabies for GMK? Stabies are, work fine with GMK, I think. Uh, TX tabs are a little bit more safe, I suppose. Whoa, Melody, long time no see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? I saw you started. Are you like a, are you an eSports? No, not eSports. Are you a, you're a team owner now, right? I saw you started a women's Valorant team or something. Congratulations to you too. I suppose so. Wait, so are you guys like competing competitively then or what? I don't know how teams work in pro, in pro esports. Yes, we are. Oh, shoot. That's crazy. Wait, so you're that good, Melody? Are you Valorant or not Valorant? Are you Radiant? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, wait, HHKB, you guys are right, HHKB. We do not put this in. I suck, please carry me, no, I'm immortal. Wait, that immortal's pretty good, no? That's that's one right on, that's the one right under Valorant, or not Valorant, Radiant. It's okay, I'm unranked. I'm still, I have not graduated from the range. Yeah, I just reinstalled not too long ago. Trying to get back into it, but I am Boomer. <laughs> I'm Valorant and Radiant, okay. <laughs> I have CD hundreds too, ooh, nice, nice. Writing an essay and watching Tehan. What is your essay on? I love them. Yeah, I, I like these C3 tangerines too. They are pretty nice. 
If I buy mechanically broken and MX black switches, do I still need to lube those? Yes, I would say so. Hey guys, is it normal on hot swap boards for the switches to come off when you pull the keycaps off? Yes, that is 100% normal. Are V1s any smoother than V2s? No, I would actually say V2s are probably way smoother out of the box. These V1s were not known to be the smoothest switch. They just sounded nice. Oh, is music way too quiet? Have you guys not been hearing jazz this whole time? Music has been playing. I can hear it? Okay. I just made it a little louder. Too loud now? You guys are trolling me. <laughs> Haven't found a board I like the V2s in. Maybe the thermal one I get it. Mm. Well, these are V1s. These are not V2s. V1s and V2s are very different switches. Now it's too quiet? What? How about now? Oh, you're joking? Oh. <laughs> Wait, it looks too quiet now. V1s are made by Gateron? Yes, that is correct. Andrew McMullen with the Prime. Thank you, thank you. What do you like about the Thermal? I have a Thermal Plus on order. Uh, several things. I mean, one, the aesthetics. I love the grills. There's no other board that looks quite like this. And the, uh, the this leaf spring plate is very unique. I don't know if I've felt any other board that has a similar typing experience to this. Uh, because of the way the leaf spring works. It, it's a very unique typing experience. It might be too flexible or bouncy for some people, but I personally like it. What is a good budget beginner hot swap? NK65. Uh, did you get the pour on pads that they added after? For what? I might have. What are the pour-on pads for? There was a bag of goodies I did not open. Oh, that was very loud. PK Dragon, things were for the five months. Holy, why is that so loud? Is this the round one thermal? Yes, this is the round one thermal. Hold on, why is there, why is it so loud heating it? Ah, we got it. All right. What kind of tangerine milky tops? Yes, these are the old milky tops, black bottom. Hold on, sorry, I'm messing with the levels, my bad. <laughs> okay, is that better? Should be quieter now. Uh, also, being caught up with One Piece may be the most depressing feeling. Why depressing? Do you have some good jazz artist recommendations? Yeah. 
Paul Desmond is probably one of my favorites. Bill Evans is good. Uh, John Coltrane, Sonny Rollin. I listen to a lot of the bebop artists. Oh, week to week is brutal. Agreed. All right, shall we get to the build? Wait, we don't even need to solder. We just assembled this. This is a hot swap. I'm stupid. Miles Davis. Oh yeah, Miles Davis. How could you forget? Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, Thelonious Monk, uh, Herbie Hancock, Nat King Cole, Chet Baker, Chikoria, Count Basie if you like big band kind of stuff, Duke Ellington. Okay. Oh, why is Via? Oh, I'm not showing. Okay, is this the layout that we want? Tab, left control, left shift, window, alt, space. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll have to see the function stuff afterward. All right, keyboard works fine. What is that red? What is that girl logo I've seen on some of the popular red PCBs? Oh, that's Wilba. He adds it. It's like his part of his branding thing. I don't think it's on all of his PCBs though. Wilbur Tech, yeah. Well, okay, I do know the source of the drawing. I don't know if I could say it though. It might be partially docs, but yeah, it's, it's just his, it's his thing, his mark, if you will. Okay. Let us assemble this. Is it another salvation run? No, this is the thermal. Salvation came much af much later after this. Uh, let's unplug this for now. So we're going to screw that on. Okay, it's probably in the other bag of goodies then. Are these the poron strips? What are these pads for? Yep, they are. I see. What is where do they go? These are the standoffs for hot swap. Are these the ones? I'm gonna guess this is for the daughter board. They go on the bottom case on each side of those slots. Each side of the slots. Oh, like here? Is that to reduce the flexiness or what? What are the effects of installing this? Yes. Do you do any type of monetary investments? If you do, what do you invest in? I don't do too much investing. Um, I mean, back when I, back when I was a software, I had, I had a 401k and all. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> but I think most of my most of my things in my IRAs I think they're held up in like ETFs. They're mostly in like long-term relatively safe stuff. 
monetary investments are stressful yeah i mean i i i did get in early on crypto too but not not a crazy amount i'm still hodling just don't look yeah i don't look at it <laughs> It is stressful. Low key though, I mean, some of my hobbies, I feel like my hobbies are investments. <laughs> some of my film stuff have appreciated. I mean, sometimes clothes appreciate. KB great for laundering. They are an investment for sure. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell chat. I sold my M6 chat. <laughs> NFTs are great for money laundering. True. No, not BMW M6, my, my Leica M6. Uh, but you need to find buyers and you need to flip it as much as you can, true. Why did you sell your M6? I just felt like it was too expensive for what it was. I, I do love the M6, but I, I think it, it was just too much money for a 35 mil. I, I, I found myself grabbing the, uh, the point and shoots more as of late. It's either point and shoot or I shoot on medium format. And it, it was just a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not into cams when I said that. <laughs> also, the I mean, the lenses I have, like sometimes focusing wide open, it's just impossible for me at least. Like trying to focus at f1.4 with a with a rangefinder with no like EVF or digital screen, it's just it's just way too complex. Leicas are too much money for what they are. Uh, I mean, I, I think, I mean, Leicas are investments too. No, no, I don't have a BMW M6. Even the point of shoot market is laundering. Yeah, I mean, thankfully I've got some of mine at great prices, but. <clears throat> okay, I think someone linked me the, where to place oh interesting okay so we've we placed those there i would like to get into photography what would be a good first pickup uh film or digital i mean there's tons of great options for for both Olympus MJU-1 has traveled the world with me. Yeah, the MJU-1, pretty fire. Join the Discord, we discuss- Oh, hello, Grendel. Yeah, that's true. You can also join the Discord. Music's like the tiniest, but too loud, no troll. Oh, it's too loud? Okay. Do you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? Yes, I have a GoPro Hero 5 laying around. Would that be a good starter camera for streaming? Uh, for streaming? Oh. You, I think you can stream with a GoPro. You can probably. If you, I mean, if, as long as you're okay with that super wide angle look. If you have it, might as well use it. You can't, yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen some people streaming with the GoPro. I think Keycult did for a while too. They were having one of their angles as a GoPro. Sometimes I forget that the discords are more announcement channels. I feel like the, uh, 
the the hobbies channels in my server is not too bad. Generally, people are there's less trolling, less less noobs in the hobbies channels, and there's some people with good knowledge in those channels. Uh, now that your vods have no music, can you use whatever music platform you want? Yes and no. I mean, you could still get copyright struck live. Even if there's no uh, copyright music in your VODs. But yes, I, I guess I've become more lenient. Pads go on the top part? Does it matter? Oh, it does matter. Hmm, what if I wanted to rest on this? Shoot. Okay, this kind of... Let's see. Let's hope there's extras. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've been in a stream that had Twitch staff and chat playing copyright music and nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, it really depends. Just depends on whether DMCA feels like striking down some people that they are not. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Pat's going top. I uh, did not look at the diagram fully. I think Willem is going to start streaming. I think he was open to it. He very much enjoyed this, the stream. It was his first exposure to streaming. I think there's a good chance. What's your primary camera for taking photos? Um, as of late, I've been using my Fujifilm Class as my point and shoot. Classy Class. Oh, oh, wait, I did get a new digital camera. I have not told chat. Maybe I'll show it after. I uh, I sold some cameras and I got a new one. I have also been shooting. I shot some on my Mamiya Seven. I haven't been shooting too much medium format lately, though. I should get back into it. What is your PB on Rubik's Cube? I mean, this was at my prime. I was like. 15 seconds I can't do that anymore <laughs> I knew Friedrich's method at one point memorized all of it but now I don't remember <laughs> IBM -er, thank you so much for the gift of sub how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good how are you guys? yeah I had a long good weekend break oh I was supposed to stream on Friday chat I, I apologize I was going to stream to the secondary channel and then I realized my overlays don't work on the secondary channel because it's tied to like my my other account so once once i have it running for the other channel i will start streaming there again or not again i will start streaming there we were supposed to watch uh evangelion last friday i was about to stream and i was like oh wait i don't have any graphics or stuff set up so I got tilted and I was like, never mind, not gonna stream. <laughs> what secondary channel? I have I have not streamed to it yet. What is it even called? Let me see. I think it might just be. Oh yeah, it's just Teha. This is my secondary channel that I'm gonna start streaming gaming and non-keyboard content to. Are you starting the show from the beginning? Uh, we were just gonna watch the uh, the movies because they're available on Amazon Prime. I guess I could watch the anime too. Druos, what's up? Is that your Finsta but for Twitch? It's not really Finsta. It's just non non keyboard content. I'm trying to diversify, I guess. You got Teha as a channel? Yeah, I hit up my account manager. I was like, 
I noticed this guy has not been active because Teha was not active. And I, I begged them to let me claim and they said, bet. Best way to watch is the series first. Oh, wait, if I do not watch the series, will I not understand the movies? Someone in chat told me I could watch the movies without having watched the series. Oh no, there are no extras. I'll have to harvest. Bet, yeah. Copium variety? Yeah, I'm trying to just diversify. I feel like I've been happier diversifying too. It's not that I don't mind. It's not that I don't like being like known for keyboards. Oh God, this is on here tight. I just feel like uh, you guys get bored. I don't, I think build streams are not great for retention. Oh, this has lost. Okay, there's still somewhat sticky. You can watch it without, but you'll be more lost. I see. How much does flex bouncy typing experience differ from a stiff plate like brass steel? Oh, very different. I mean, when you type on a stiff brass plate, right? It just feels like you're hitting a wall when you bottom out. Hmm, what's a good analogy? Yeah, it, it's, it's like, I think, it's like if you do this on your desk versus on a desk mat. Like when you do this on a desk mat, you get some cushioning. It's not entirely soft. Like your fingers aren't necessarily sinking into the desk mat, but like it absorbs some of that bottom out force, right? Versus, versus just tapping your finger on a s stiff wooden desk. It's kind of something like that. Well done versus rare steak. No, I, I mean, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't translate to keyboards. <laughs> I like your build streams because you're very interactive with chat and great at answering people's questions. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't mind that. But that, that stops after a certain bit, you know? Like, I, I, I definitely, I don't mind helping out newcomers at all. But like, once you get seasoned enough, once you become a veteran in the hobby, I feel like build streams aren't as fun anymore. You get less questions to ask the more you participate in the hobby, the more you learn. And especially since some builds are repeats, right? Like, especially repeat build streams, I feel like no one, no one enjoys watching repeat build streams. Unless you're new. It's, it's fun for newcomers, but it's the, it's the retention of old timers. That's what I'm trying to fix. <clears throat> Do you think silent switches on the brass plate are a good combo? Uh, some people do like that, yes, because the plate is stiff, but your switch is a little dampened. Some people like that. Not That's not true. Some of us purely enjoy the process of the build. Yeah, I mean, okay, I, I am generalizing. I'm generalizing. But I, I mean, I will say, I think the majority of veterans, the retention rate is not great, I think. At least for me, I don't know how it is for other people. Maybe other keyboard streamers aren't facing it as much because they're newer. How much do you think Barra Light is gonna cost? Saw Omnitype tease it. I don't know if I could speak on it. It transitioned into more of just chatting, yeah. Do you prefer heavy phone builds or nah? Nah, I don't. I only need webcam. <laughs> What's up, Xiao Hao? I just like watching the process. I come to the stream for Nathan, not the keyboard usually. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the mindset most uh, old timers have. Like the people who do come back who have watch been watching me for like a year or so, it's because they just like hanging out with me, which I, I appreciate. But for some people, they don't like me. It's just the keyboard. 
So I gotta keep them entertained somehow. Why is this not sitting flush? Huh? What is getting in the way here? Cable just too thick. What the? Or maybe are maybe the routing needs to be like exact. Huh? Is this not supposed to be flush? You can tape the cable to keep it in place. True. True. Hot swap might be interfering. No, no. Hot swap is supposed to fit. I think, you, I think the cable just has to sit exactly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it, it, it has to just sit exactly on the cutouts this goes on top and then let's assemble this you're supposed to attach it to top first really Oh, you're right. Wait, was this not sandwich mat? Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It's been a while. I, I assumed it was just sandwiched from what I remember. Guess my memory is wrong. Hmm, which screws do I use then? Oh, it's probably these remaining four. I see, I see. Oh, that's what the cutouts are for. I thought that's, what, I was wondering what those were for. Okay, okay, okay. Teha's brain is on autopilot? No, 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 I was going off memory. I don't know why I assumed this was a sandwich mount. I mean, it, it is still kind of sandwich mount, but wait. It didn't... Hold on. Does this just come out? Oh, it does. Oh, I got scared. Wait, I should... Uh... Now it's in the hole. <laughs> now it's in the hole, rip. I gotta take it out. Mr. Carlos with the 28 months. Thank you. I'm jelly you met BB. Dude, BB is a goddess in person. Yeah, she she also had the the nicest reaction. Did you see the part in the vlog where she put her hands on my shoulder? I could die. I can die in peace. Do you have Crocs? I have owned three pairs of Crocs in the past. I don't right now at the moment though. Have you ever built a mech board pocket type board? I have not. That's the last strike, bro. What do you mean, Crocs? Crocs are pretty fire. If you have not tried Crocs, you guys are missing out on life. Don't hate till you try it. Exactly, don't hate until you wear them. Thoughts on Gray's Clears. 
Um, I mean, you can use them as ergo clears. I don't, probably wouldn't use them stock. Do you put them in the race mode? What is race mode? Oh, like the, the black, I mean the back strap. <laughs> Yeezy foam runners greater than Crocs. Okay, but can you get me Yeezy foam runners in retail? I mean, I would, wear, I would buy Yeezy foam runners for retail. But I'm not paying aftermarket for that. <laughs> Finally got a PC TGR 910, it's amazing. Oh, nice, that's a pretty rare board. Crocs gross? Okay, Mr. Koopo, I thought we were becoming friends. All about $20 Amazon slippers. I mean, Amazon slippers are good too. I bought sneakers, so I can definitely make that happen for you. Damn. I mean, if anyone's got a plug for retail foam runners, <laughs> I could be down. I could be down. Ruined my shoes in SoCal so I had to wear Crocs back home? Oof. Thoughts on upside down space bars? I used to flip my space bars, but I have grown out of it. I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely functional. But it really just depends on your typing uh, habit. Man, this is very finicky. I don't even know how I did that the first time. Is it better to tackle this from the front? Maybe taping it down is a move. <laughs> yeah, it's very particular about the placement of this. I can't really tell where it gets caught though. scratch this up. You know what? I'm going to tape it down. Where is my masking tape? Is it JST chat? No, no, it's deep enough. I got it the first time. I think it's just if the wire does not sit in this channel, you can feel it getting caught. So we're just gonna tape tape it so it sticks or it stays in its channel. Oh shoot, how do I balance this now then? Can you take out a few switch? Oh, you could maybe, yeah. If you expose the, the switch pins. Oh God. Is 
that enough guidance? Oh, okay, yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, look at this. This is the tapes to a new level. Kelly Mundo, thank you for the eight months. Josh Maid with the 16 months, thank you. Newcomer, I hardly know her. <laughs> oh, wait, were we not supposed to use these screws? I don't think these get used actually. We probably replaced them with the, the flatter. Okay, yeah, these are the nicer screws. Ooh, chat. Who has Valentine's Day? How many of you guys are dating? Let's see. Do you guys have Valentine's plans this weekend? No shot? Ill cooties? Are you guys all turbo virgins? Me, I used to. I'm dating my left hand. Oh man, all oh, my, my chat is... You guys don't touch grass. The GF is surprising me this year. We'll see what happens. Ooh, GF other side of world. Smoge. Possibly depends if my honey is in town or not. Bold of you to assume. <laughs> My girl broke up with me last week, Kappa. Okay. Not dating married. Oh, hey, I mean, you could still celebrate Valentine's if you're married. Valentine's isn't just for couples. I mean, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be husband, wife. My wife and I are having a baby soon, so we're kind of taking Valentine's easy this year. Ooh, makes sense. But you asked who's dating? All right, you are, that is correct. You are true, fine. My GF is in the metaverse. This is my first time I won't be doing Valentine's Day in eight years, wow. Girls are a bigger money pit than Keebs. Agreed, dating's expensive. Well, assuming you spoil your significant other. First Valentine's with our daughter, so order in dinner and hope she falls asleep early. Ooh, nice, nice. <clears throat> I just used my parents' money. Let's be honest, men are money pits too. Yeah. Well, I don't I, I don't think it's a men woman thing it just depends on depends on the, their love language how materialistic is your partner and how much do they feel loved by gifts some people don't really care for gifts some people care a lot about gifts humans are money pits tbh whether it's partners kids true Okay, kids for sure are a money sink. <laughs> Is your keyboard a boy or a girl? I don't I don't name my keyboards. Cash is the best gift. I'm also in the cash camp. All of, all of the presents that I want. I don't have friends rich enough that can afford. I prefer cash. I have a GF, I just want some flowers, damn it. Hey, you could ask your girlfriend. If your girlfriend doesn't buy you flowers, you gotta communicate that with her. When your keyboards aren't children and still are money. 
I prefer a steak knight than gifts. Ooh, I mean steak knight's always good. I pinched in a cat hair. Oh well. All right, we have finished the build. Do we go basic and put on a black set? Ooh, we could maybe put a... What about PBT? What about beige PBT? Red Devils? Oh, Red Devils. I don't think the red is going to match. I could do Red Devil. Uh, crap, it's on a keyboard. Which keyboard is it still on? Did I put it on this? No. Let's try to remember which Red said I put it on. I don't it's pretty recent. I put it on board. Is it the angle? No, this one had. You know what? It's probably quicker to. It's quicker to check my VODs. Which VOD was it? Uh, YouTube Teha Tapes. I put it on. Oh, did I not? Wait, I swear I put it on a board. Is it just in its packaging? Wait, who took my red? Where's my red doubles? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. What? Yeah, I swear I put it on a board. Where did it go? It's not on the object. Serica or Riot? You want Serica on this? Oh, I guess the red wouldn't be that bad. The Perestroika. I think Perestroika Perestroika is also kind of dark. Yeah, Perestroika is more like a burgundy. Red Cyrillic. I don't think I have red Cyrillic. Um Lose a keycap set? This is Perestroika. Yeah, it's a much darker, I mean, it's burgundy. This car? Ah, it is on this car. Yeah, this car is a little too light now, though. 
This is like this is the color of red devils. It's more salmon. Which one do we eat? Hamon? I do have hamon. It's probably on a board somewhere. <laughs> Crap, where's my hamon set? Stork is actually much darker than burgundy. Burgundy would not be bad on this. Should we just do burgundy? Yeah, so this is burgundy or GMK burgundy. This is perestroika. Perestroika is much darker. Okay, let's do burgundy. Handerbite? We used Handerbite last week on the Vertex. We haven't seen Burgundy in a while. Okay. Go naked, bro? Okay. Oh, I think Hamon might be on my Pizza 65. I probably never took it off the pizza. Clawsy with a 29 months, thank you. It is? Yeah, that's probably where it is. I'm gonna go with Burgundy though. No Crimson Cadet, I do not own Crimson Cadet. I also don't have, well, I do have Red Samurai, but it only has the drop kidding support. Which this would not fit. Have you thought about using your feet as keycaps? What? What do you mean? This ain't it? Is Hamon a closer red? F it? Did I just put beige, black on beige? A 21 KB PBT set? White on black? I don't think I have a free white on black set. <laughs> they are all on a board somewhere. Hyper X pudding caps. Okay. Wait, is Hyper X still around? I feel like I haven't heard much about Hyper X in a while. What happened to Hyper X? Hyper X got acquired by HP. Oh. Oh, I see. ZXEVB Graveyard? Yeah, I mean, I know their, their Cloud X headphones used to be very popular. I've not heard much other afterwards since then, though. Okay, we do have the, the Rama Red Artisan. Yes. Oh my god, this is a mess. Let me clean up. Let me clean up. Black keycaps with red legends. I don't own such a set, unfortunately. Is this split backspace? Yes.
GM key red on black? That's not a set. Oh yeah, there is GMK Demonic. But I don't own that. Oh, this is the black. Where's the red going? Aha! Infinity Islander, no, definitely not that keycap set. I like your shirt, thank you. Where's a Darth Vader set when you need one? I feel like Novel Keys is probably working on something like that. They have to be working on... Oh, wait. They gotta give the dark side some, some light now. Why Rama Caps always so loose? That was because uh, Rama Caps... I mean, they have to make it... They have to mill it to the, the widest tolerance to accommodate for... Tolerances in the potential stem. Mine's not that loose though. Yeah, at least it doesn't come off when I do this. Could be worse. But yeah, from what I've heard, they, they make it as wide as they can according to the tolerance spec sheet of Cherry MX stems. So Novel Keys DSC Star Wars set with Mass is pretty sweet. Oh, I do have that as well, yes. Are Tanji V1s that much different from V2? Yes, they are very different. Uh, V1s made by Gateron, V2s by JWK. This has a milky top. Uh, the, the, C, the V2 Tanjis are whatever plastic it is but it's definitely not milky uh what goes here oh should we not use the one crap mm, i kind of like the one though we'll leave it we will leave it on control alt in case you do a baby yoda keycap set yeah I feel like Disney's probably going to work on a Yoda series though. They're probably waiting for that to happen. Don't you guys think so? They have to be working on a Yoda series, right? Movie or series. Uh, we need the Windows key. Super. All right, some of you guys are asking, uh, no, that looks out of place. I don't understand this. Why would they offer text mod control when the set has icon only? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it icon. Short backspace, I, I know I have a short backspace, but I just like the one symbol. I prefer the one. Because <laughs> icon control is gross. No, the problem with this is it uses icon only. It should be icon plus text. Teha just likes twice the pipe. 
Okay, they have the one new key in the hangar office. That is true. No, but then that's actually, yeah, it's okay, too late. Too late. Have you joined any new GMK group buys? Let me check. I don't think I have. Oh, yes, I did. I've got, I picked up some of the, uh, the project keyboards, the black on white, white on black sets. I picked up some 21 KB keycaps. Oh, that's not GMK. Yeah, the last GMK keycap set I joined was the Project KB White on Black, Black on White. Did you get soya milk? I did not. Damn, I spent a lot on keycaps this month. <laughs> oh shoot. All right, no more keycaps this month. I bought so many sets from 21 KB and I bought multiples of the White on Black, Black on White. All right, this is the build. Is the plate PCB crooked or are my eyes? It's just the way it catches the light. I it's probably the, it's a mix of the perspective. Yeah, I think it's just the lighting. It's being lit here and then it gets dark. So you don't see it shining through here. Left super out looks crooked. I don't think there's a way to physically... Okay, these do look crooked. These are crooked. <laughs> Maybe this is the hot swap. This might be the hot swap. But the plate for sure is not. The plate tolerance screwing onto the top piece is kind of tight. There's no way to misalign, I think. Did you enter a bid for the key cult? Hell no. I am not gonna pay Vickery auction price. That's too much money. I love Key Cult, but it is a lot of money. Are you picking up Deadbeats? Ooh, I might pick up Deadbeats. Crap. All right, do we have mods? Can we get Casino? Three, two, one, boom. How much do they typically go for? Key cult? Well, if you get it for retail, uh, it's like what, high 500s for a kit? All right, first prediction of the week. And bot is live. Maybe in a parallel universe where I win the lottery I don't know, even if I won the lottery, well, I, okay, I certain victory combos I have really liked. But I'm not crazy about this latest victory combo. So my wallet is safe. All right, place your bets. If you win the lottery, just commission a key cult. Yeah, there's that too, I guess. <laughs> if you win the lottery, there's no need to go for the victory. Let's bring up monkey type. Oh, the API has been updated. Ooh, okay. Wait, monkey type has APIs for what? What do you plug a monkey type into? All right, point my mic down. No RGB, oh. Yeah, I could do without RGB on this. RGB off. Type in hunger. I cannot type in hunger. <laughs> Ooh, red RGB? Let's see how it looks like with red. Solid color one. Oh, that's kind of a vibe. Red breathing? 
Uh, nah. Jelly bean raindrops. Okay, never mind. We're sticking with red. <laughs> uh, is backspace okay? Backspace is short. Backspace. Okay, okay, okay. All right. This is the thermal. Um, built with aluminum plate, no foam. Uh, V1 C3 tangerines, Luba 205 grade zero by Mr. Zen, Luba 205 grade zero. Uh, TX switch film, and it has 62, 62 gram long TX springs. Keycap set is GMT Burgundy round three, whatever the latest round was. This is how loud the mouse clicks are at keyboard level. Okay. Oh, short backspace. Okay, okay. Do do. Smudge. First one of the week. First one of the week. <laughs> 135. Damn. Thought I was going to break. Oh my. 83% doubted. Yeah, short backspace on Heavy Grail. I don't know why. It feels different on this MX. All right. These are what the mods sound like. <laughs> uh, this has the Brahma Artisan. Yo, it sounds kind of nice. How do you use control on those layouts? Uh, it seems like we have a lot of newcomers. Let me show you how you use control on this. So you can reprogram every key. Oh, oh, it's not plugged in. Let me start one more prediction while I explain how to use HHKB. One more prediction. Caps lock can die. You heard it here. Caps lock can disappear. No one uses caps lock. Remap it to control. You keep windows and alt here. If you need caps lock, you can put it on a function layer, which is what I do. Even then, I never use caps lock. The only time I ever use caps lock is to deactivate caps lock because someone left it on. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Teha is not a SQL programmer. I do not work with SQL. If you work with SQL, I, I, uh, I feel sorry for you. You need to, you need to get on a new job. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> uh, momentary one, momentary two, one, two. What is on two? Oh, two is completely blank. F one, two, three. Oh. 
This is delete by default. Interesting. Oh, and then they do that. I suppose I could live with. Mm, nah, let's make this. We'll make delete backspace. It's got arrow keys. Oh, yes, arrow keys here too. Just accessible via function layer. It's not too hard to use this arrow key either. It's not the best. I do prefer uh, full on dedicated arrow keys, but this does work. At least for productivity use. For gaming, you might run into issues, but I prefer Vim arrows. Vim arrows, I guess you would have to, if the function key was on the other hand, because Vim arrows, you kind of need all four fingers here. I guess you could do multitask and move around, but yeah. What is the software called? This is called Via. It only works for remapping keyboards that are compatible with it, though. Mr. Alex, hello. <clears throat> Vim greater than Emacs, agreed. Also, my Stream Deck, the stuff is, got borked. Okay, I do really like how this sounds though with the V1 Tangies. It's got character, not too hollow sounding. Or it's not hollow at all. Uh, these also have been worn in for a little bit. They are used uh, V1 Tangies. Tangies are not the smoothest switch, I would say, out of the box. At least the V ones, but that's pretty good. Spacebar, spacebar is pretty nutty. Not too clacky, yeah. Not too clacky. It's not too deep. Pretty nice sound, I would say. Huh? Wait, did I not remap? Con Why can't I? Oh, I can't, whoops. Okay, bets are done. Redo, 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 redo. Okay, I'm gonna raise my chair. Redemption. Gamble Bane, thanks for the five months. Ryan Agile with the three months, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm still not used to the, the scene change. That messes me up. This huge dip at the 30 second mark. Oof. I will always believe. <laughs> okay. This is a nice sounding board. I like. I like it a lot. I should have built this sooner. I will also say those pads made a huge difference. Um, you can refer to my, my prototype build two years ago, but they did not offer the pads as far as I remember. And this had much more, it was almost like borderline too bouncy, but with the pads, it is, it is very controlled. The amount of bounce, it, it still exists. Like you can see it clearly bowing, but yeah, it's nowhere near as much as without the pads. Yeah, I kind of like. This is a good amount of bounce for me. Cause it was it was very intense without the pads on the prototype. I will leave it up for you guys to uh, experiment, of course. Maybe you guys might like that crazy amount of bounce. But this is a nice amount. I like this. Shadow Taker, thank you so much for the bits. Um, BTZ with the 25, thank you, thank you. 
Alex Soltos with a tip 138 week. Okay, Mr. Alex, what is Alex's average words per minute on stream? What are, What is his casino like? Okay, that wasn't me. Okay, this guy trying to backtrack. This guy <laughs> managed to break 2R30 with hot swap. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't do it. Oh, you don't do casino? I type at 70. I know I'm weak. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Can't confirm. I typed it for Alex. Oh, was it BTZ? You troll. You know you did bad when Alex talks shit about your typing speed? Smooch. Does this switch? Are like a tangerine. Uh, no, I, they're probably just called that because of the color scheme. Yeah, I do like this a lot. This design. There's still no other board that quite looks like this. Ooh, the way this red. It almost looks like it's glowing with this lighting. Oh, sh looks like there's a, a red glow there. Kind of sick. Does your keyboard overheat? Okay. What do you use for a noise gate? I have no noise gate on. Um, I I tried out, uh, what is it? NVIDIA broadcast for a bit. Whatever noise reduction soft algorithm they use there. But I, I haven't been using it at all. I have no noise gate on. Yeah. I don't really, I, I honestly don't do much to my audio. I can show you my, my DAW. There's no filters or anything on. This is a really nice build. Yeah, I do very much like the thermal. Liked it a lot when I built the prototype. I think the thermal looks much better as a 60% than as the 65 version thermal plus. Thermal plus, I don't know, something about the, this aspect ratio I think it's very fitting because the thermal plus it's a little bit taller and it ruins the, uh, the aesthetic this is like the cinematic aspect ratio and the thermal plus is like it's kind of squarish would love to see yeah I can show you my my dog I literally just route the audio that's it no filters no EQ Yeah. Just up the gain. I mean, I, I do use the filter sometimes for other stuff, but for audio recording, I it's straight out of mic. For 60%, what's your favorite looking layout? 60%. I think for 60%, I do prefer uh, Win Keyless or HHKB over standard 60%. I don't know, standard 60% is just too boxy. You just have a, a block of keys. I feel like HHKB or Win Keyless 60%, it adds uh, some character, some interest, visual interest, if you will. Ask you with the 22 months. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> what keyboard would you recommend when trying to get into customs? You can check out the NK65, NK87, Bakuneko 60, Ikki Aurora. Those are all pretty relatively affordable keyboards, which are very nice. Can you recommend some linear switches? I have a command exclamation, best linears. This looks sick. This is a this is a photogenic keyboard. This looks good. Top down, side, the way it catches the light. Ooh. Bring back V1 Tangies. I, I don't know if they'll be popular now, but I do like how they sound still. If you can put them in a nice build, it sounds pretty nice. I remember the V1 Tangies were very hyped when the Q came out. The first Q, I think it was Zekin. He might have, right, let's, let's, let's go down memory lane. Q Geekat. I think it was Zekin's type dust that he built a, a Q with. 
V1 Tangies. Or was it QXP? Wait. Oh, maybe it's the interest check? Yeah, this is Zekin. Oh wait, this is Cherry MX Blacks. I swear someone built it with V1 Tangies. Holy Chicky, holy crap. <laughs> I have not heard of Holy Chicky in a while. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm trolling. I know for sure there's some good sounding Q builds with V1 Tangies. Cause there, there was a phase when they were hyped. Oh, right. Oh, my Q? Does my Q have V1 Tangies? Oh, maybe. I think it does. I think it does. Yeah. Wait, what happened to my overly on disc 2? What the? All right, something got messed up overnight because I... Why is my chat covering my face? That's an ancient Frankenstein? Yeah. It is an ancient Frankenstein. Actually, let's, let's take a listen. Let's take a listen. Zekin used to be a content creator, guys. Boy, oh, this is MX Black. Whoops. We want the holy chicky. Oh, that, that was my speaker feedback, sorry. Dang, look at that type speed. When was Q released? This was 2018. Ah, 2018. Oh, why is, why is that so loud? Dude, what is going on with my audio today? Holy, everything just got like mixed. Everything reset. How, did, how does that work? I'm so confused. Sorry, 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 yeah. I don't know, all my, all my OBS stuff got like moved around when I didn't even touch it. Windows update? No, I haven't updated Windows either. Something that comes with being a streamer, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, shake and bake things for the tier one sub. All right, that was it for today's build. Anything else you guys want to see about the thermal or other questions? Can't wait for VOD watchers to not understand chat saying too loud. True. Profit with V1 Tangy by Cohen sounds really nice. Man, I'm still waiting for my profit. I should hit up the guy. <laughs> I bought a profit off someone, but they haven't shipped it. I mean, it's a friend, so I don't mind. I, I want to try the profit. It's almost 3 a.m. for me. Nice. Aegis with Tangies, though. Oh, I built an Aegis once. Was that with Tangies? I don't remember. Aegis Tangies. Oh, wait, I did build it with Tangies. That's me. Oh, this sounds kind of nice too. <laughs> this is back when I used to be into artisans. Dang, how much do these artisans go for? This one was expensive. That's an expensive gaff cap. I don't know how much it is now or if it's even sought after. Old setup nostalgia. That TV goes for four figures? Really? I definitely did not pay four figures for this TV. <laughs> Holy four figures, that's crazy. No left control. What do you mean left control? Oh, you have it on caps lock, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised if it goes for four. It's a gaff cap. And it's an older one, too, so. Not too surprising. Can you bring back music in your vids? I, I've started to play potentially copyrightable music, so I don't think I can. I can link some playlists, though, if you guys would like to play music. Did you notice, notice the bass? It is much more reduced. Because we installed the pads, uh, if you check the VOD, they, they provided pour-on pads that you can install. It is much uh, less bouncy and less bassy. I think it's a very nice amount. Yeah, the bass is like majority removed. Bounce is pretty controlled too. Are the pads exclusive to V2 Thermal? I'm not sure. Well, this is the V1 Thermal. I don't know if they included it or decided to remove it in the V2s. Can you bring back the OG angle? I have this though. This is kind of like the OG. I, do, I have started to use the side cam more. Have you ever typed on Mech 27? Why does that board sound so nice? Yeah, Mech 27 is a very old board too. It is nice. It, it, at one point in my life, it was a grail board. <laughs> Mech 27 is literally a Jane. Yes, that's why it sounds good. It's a, it is quite literally a Jane clone that was given permission by Yuxi. Just has a different weight. Will this be your daily now? Ooh, should I? It might. Have I been using this for two weeks? It might have been two weeks already. Yeah, maybe I'll switch over to this. Mech 27 V2, still not finished. <laughs> Did you cop NCR 80? No, I regret not joining NCR 80. If someone would like to sell me their NCR 80, preferably unbuilt, I will buy it. It's NCR 80 sounds nutty and it feels nice. Do you buy off mech market? Well, now, yeah, you can only get mech 27 after hand now. The, the guy has left. I don't think he's participated in the hobby since the mech 27 debacle. Are you a fan of the Viper, the keyboard? Viper was okay. I don't think it sounded or felt particularly amazing, but I mean, it is a historical board. I do like how it looks. Uh, I watched the VOD of your Heavy Grail. I'm sure you, you use stock domes until unless you... No, I didn't replace it. Heavy Grail, we use the desk key domes. I'm pretty sure we use the desk key domes, yeah. Any tip for someone who's learned to type faster? Yeah, there's tons of uh, software and programs online available. Try out Kieber. Just have to be really disciplined. Bro, I like the new boards more than the old stuff. I, I can see that. I'm, I'm not... Like, I do appreciate the history of some boards. But, I mean, if you compare a lot of the old boards to modern boards, they definitely don't hold up quite as well. Like, anno, anno quality, machining quality has come quite a long ways since the early boards. Like, if you, if you ever have the chance to buy new, or not buy, but if you guys ever get the chance to, like, see old Janes, old duck boards, old LZ boards, uh, that weren't refinished, they're pretty ass. <laughs> they would not they would not be held up to today's standards for sure. Korean Anno is a feature? True. Uh, where do you get custom escape keys? From artisan makers. There, you kind of have to, what's the artisan database? Is it key, key hive? Can someone link the uh, artisan database? I forget. No, it's not Keyhive. Beehive? Artisans? There's that database of all the artisans. Yeah. What was the last keyboard you licked? I honestly cannot remember. It's been a while since I've licked. Keycap.info. Okay, there you go. Whoever asked about custom keycaps, check the, out this catalog. It, uh, it should have a list of, yeah, it does have a list of certain popular makers. Find their socials and that's how you win their raffles. Zen got a CLS recently. I want to try so bad. CLS also had pretty ass anno and machining, I would say. 
but it does sound nice. I think CLS still to this day one of my favorite sounding boards. Tim Keyless licked one yesterday. Nice. I just watched your ADA Rising vlog. I want to say good stuff, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out new vlog on Taya Snipes, it's been a while, but uh, it's my 88 Rising experience. Got to see a lot of the artists um, backstage, and I got to follow Mr. Uh, J Park around. So please go watch it. Um, I do have the next vlog prepped as well. Hopefully it comes out next week. When are you and Alex doing a collab? He DM'd me. We we are going to talk about it. Yeah, I, I ghosted him for a bit because my DMs got flooded. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the MW65? MW65. Oh yeah, the Master Dynamic Active Noise Cancelling Wireless Headphone? No, I'm, I don't think I have. MW65, I don't think I did. Let's get a dinner sometime? Yeah, I'm down. J Keyboard when? I think he has one. Are you getting down to the commission bill for Joey Chaotic? Uh, he has an order to one. I think he's saving up. I did enjoy the vlog even though I didn't meet anyone. <laughs> Thoughts on GMK Mercury? I saw a lot of questions asking about GMK Mercury. Uh... I mean, it's a, it's a neutral. Oh, I do like the novelties. Novelties are pretty sick. Yeah, but outside of the novel keys, I mean, it's a pretty standard. It's, it's just a monochrome set. It looks nice. I feel it. Like, yeah. Do you have a full size custom recommendation? I want to get into custom keyboard by the numpad. There aren't that many nice custom full sizes, but uh, KBD fans has the KBD, the 19X. KBD fans has a full size. I think it's the 19X. TX108, yeah, TX108, if you're willing to spend a little bit, the TX1 is nicer than the uh, KBD 19X. Did you see that Gateron minks are being sold as an off the shelf switch? Oh, no, I did not know they are being sold as off the shelf. I'm waiting for my bus to go to school when I'm watching you. Nice. Uh, K3 Soju board when? He did, he did reach out. Zex full size group buy? Oh, true. But I feel like they're probably not trying to sp spend a lot. But yeah, there is a full size coming out from Mr. Zekin. That collective. Expecting amazing products from that collective group this year uh did you meet joji no i didn't meet joji thoughts on boba linear thoughts wait is boba linear different from boba linear thought i've tried boba linears boba linears are nice what do you think are some good keycap sets brands if you can't afford a gmk set uh Check out the PBT sets on Novel Keys. Novel Keys has, they have some in-stock sets now of some pretty decent quality PBT keycaps. I got my Vega today, nice. That's on the Freebird TKL. I haven't tried it, but I mean, it, the price point seems attractive. Yeah, Canon Keys also has their nice PBT. I haven't tried it yet though. Hub keycaps, okay. Wait, is Hub coming back? Do people know about Hub? Hub doesn't exist. <laughs> Domiki is also very nice. I have not tried Domiki. Gotta go have a go with Mr. Types? No problem. Thanks for talking by. I'm probably ending stream soon too. Unless chat just wants to hang out. Enter group by for Mammoth 75. Can't wait. Nice. No, not the Hub J. Okay. <laughs> have you ever tried DCP? No, what profile is DCP? DC key keycaps. Hmm, what is this?
Oh, is this just Cherry Profile? Is DCP the menu? There's no talk about the profile. Okay, maybe it's just the menu. No, I haven't tried DCP. Huh, did not know drop sold DCP. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, what do you think of Rama Works? I bet the bullet and bought the M65C and the Kate keycaps waiting so long. Got some holy panels to go there. I mean, they make nice products, but uh, lately they have been facing some fulfillment issues. But I mean, yeah, Rama Works has been around for a while. Thoughts on half plates? Never used one, just saw someone selling a kit with one on Mechmark. I personally like half plates but I can't really make that decision for you unless you try it. It's, it's a very different experience from a full plate build. Half plate, I would say, is, is drastically noticeably different from full plate in terms of sound and feel. Yeah. We need ABS alternatives. True. Half plate feels good. Yeah. Half plate is very nice. Just got my U80 shipping notification. It only took like 14 months. Wait, there's still... Oh, for the, for the new U80 round. I forgot there was a second round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any thoughts on the Owl Lab Spring? I have not touched any Owl Lab product. If Owl Lab watches me, I would love to try, but I, I have not touched any Owl Lab products. Have not tried Mr. Suit, have not tried their new stabs, new springs. Do you have any personal builds with cat keycap sets? I do not. I do have a cat keycap set that I own. I don't like it. I don't like cap. I don't purchase cap. I tried it, did not like it. Did you enter GMK Metropolis round two? No, I did not. I probably should have. Metropolis also a regret not joining. What time is it for you? It is 5.56. When are you building your GS? Shoot, I need to send more switches to get lubed. I don't have switches for GS. I need some sweet black inks. I do have the palm plate though. Yeah, I'll send out some. Wait, did I? Maybe I did send black ink. No, I don't think I did. Are you still hyped for type K? Yes. What's for dinner? I don't know. We might eat out today because uh, I was not able to cook during the day. Any plans to come to Miami? Not anytime soon. Oh, Formula One Miami is in May? Hmm. We checked the Austin one, and I think that one is after my wedding. Oh, if Formula One Miami? Oh, when in May though? I feel like going to an F1 race for a bachelor's party would be pretty cool. But uh, my friends, they're all going to EDC. So if it overlaps with EDC, we can't do that. Make Jige? Could do that. What switches you need, buddy? I'm on it. Uh, can I get some black inks, Mr. Zen? Sushi or KBBQ? They are always good, but that's expensive, yo. Gotta reserve that for the weekends. Try to eat cheap and healthy on the weekdays. If you come down, I can take you for a tour flight. That would be cool. Yeah, we'll see. I, didn't, I, 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 I assumed Miami was after the date too, but if it's in May, maybe. Ah, but would my friends be willing to travel out twice? Because they're going to go to EDC. So maybe they're not down. Formula 1 Miami, May 6th to 8th. Yeah, maybe it might not work. I'll be doing the Austin F1 this year. Didn't get tickets for last year's. Ooh. Do you like Epic Kai? Yes. Heard they're having concerts? Yeah. Ooh, we might. I might be having my friend come on uh, in a couple weeks. He is the... He goes on tour with Epic Kai as their, one of their photographers. If you guys like Epic Kai, maybe you guys might want to tune in then, ask him some questions. Yeah, one of my friends is the photographer for Epic Kai, uh, Eric Nam, and Nick Jonas. I was going to order some myself anyways. DM me there, I'll put my order. Sick, okay. You gotta do a build for Lando Norris? Dude, I will be down for Lando Norris. He's a gamer. He streams. 
I'm wait, he has his own esports org or team, I think. I'd be down for Lando. Shiny with the 20 months. Thank you, thank you. Yuoma with the 7 months. Can you say hurry up and buy for Joey Chaotic? <laughs> That's up to Joey. <laughs> Gotta go for a meeting in the rest of the day. Thank you, thank you, Slipherino. Good luck in your meeting. I just bought some keycaps. Sad I couldn't get novelties. Only a hundred dollar mark markup on mech market. Not bad. Damn. Esports org? Yeah. Vinsanity, hello. Well, I had something to say. Crap. I forgot. I lost my lost my train of thought. Sheesh, Eric Nam, he's well known. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no. My friend showed me this insane YouTube channel recently. And this guy's videos are next level. Do you guys follow like film? Or actually, I should add. Yeah, do you guys have interest in film? Photo, video, YouTubers. Let's watch his video. Kind of down to chill. No. <laughs> Hold on. I need to fix this chat. My overlays are scuffed. Uh, all right. Each of his videos are like short films almost. It's pretty nice. This one's called The Making of Los Angeles on Film. Oh, wait, this is the making of video? Maybe we don't watch the making of. We watch the actual video. Every frame of painting is pretty OP. Yeah, I love their I love that channel too. <clears throat> Tail pivoting to React Reaver? No, no, it's just because we're done with the build. Got some time to kill until dinner. Hey, but his videos are so nice. Yeah, all his videos are really well made. Who is this? His name is Sir. He's Sir on YouTube. Yeah. This guy for sure is gonna blow up. His videos are really nice. He's already grown so much since I subscribed to him. It's kind of crazy. Glad I'm back to survive. I missed the stream. Dude, welcome back, Ryan. Did they help make the board? Yeah, we did. We finished the build. We're just chilling now. We're being chilling. This looks like a movie. That's what I'm saying. Each of his videos are essentially short films. 
like the way he story tells the way he, he paces it I mean the aesthetics too obviously but yeah everything's solid music choice I wish I could just make video I wish I was talented enough to make videos like this Makes me excited to fly back home. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, so you're from LA, Jay. So I remember you were here for a bit. I missed hanging out with you. I thought you were just visiting. Do you have recommendations for long term storage? Yes. You can buy cases like this. Uh, Omni Type has some. Uh, Canon keys might have some. Yeah, but get nice hard cases like this. It's got foam inside. From SoCal School in Philly. Oh. Canon keys are strong cases. Your glasses are Fuego. Where from? Uh, they're from a place called Eleven Optical. Yeah, pretty cool though. Do you care about car scene videographers at all? Um, I've watched car stuff. I feel like most people in the car scene though are like, I don't know, it just looks kind of amateurish to me. They all have like a similar vibe when it comes to like car videos, especially at like car meets. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too crazy, but I mean, I'll, I'll watch it if it's good, but I don't think I've seen like a car video that was like, wow, car scene is very bro -y. Yeah, very bro -y. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like skateboard videos. No, but I feel like skateboard videos have at least some I feel like it's easier to find like uniqueness in skate videos. But car scene? I don't know. TikTok car scene is ass. There's a TikTok car scene? <laughs> what other channels have I discovered recently that I've been really liking? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like I discovered a couple new ones. Mm. Congrats on getting engaged. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, I don't know the name of their channel. Ah, crap. Did I subscribe to them? Oh, I might not have. Mm. Yeah, I might not have subscribed. Crap, I'll, I'll find it and I'll come back to you guys when I do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm following them. Uh, still cracking up. I was literally looking on a new HK and Thermal showed up on my radar today. Oh, nice. If I send a video segment of one of the car edits, would you watch it? Sure. Link me. Been on Mech Market all day checking him out. Ah, what was the channel name? It's called Sir, S E R R. For car stuff, I just watched Nori Yaro. 
there's a channel mm, I'll have to check it out is the setup video on your main channel yes okay let's see what this video is about Oh wait, this is not what I think of when I think of car videos. This is actually kind of nice. This is not that broy. Are they at a McDonald's? Ooh. Damn, I haven't had McDonald's in quite a long time. <clears throat> Wait, this is nice. No, when, when I think of car videos, I think of like car meets. Like everyone, may, I feel like everyone who goes to a car meet makes those like compilation videos. We're just like flashing. It's almost like a bad music video. It's like flashing, same movement panning of the cars, all the cars that were there. That's what I think of car videos. This, this is nice. <laughs> Walmart parking, yeah, something like that. No, I like I like this a lot. Uh, what is this? Oh! Oh! Wait, are they doing this through a vendor? Is this through a keyboard vendor? I'm gonna guess we're gonna do it themselves, right? What is that keyboard, though? Kyle looks like a key cult, no? Kind of looks like a key cult. <laughs> mode? No, this is definitely not a mode board, I think. I think this is a key cult. Mode mode 65 has that. Okay, maybe well it might be the same color, but it has that back piece that's magnetic. Ho 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 ho. You mean like this? I feel like this is a little more tasteful. This is actually, at least the cars in action is kind of cool. I, I don't have a video to pull up to describe what I'm seeing, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> yeah. Like the ones in parking, yes. Parking garages are one of those. Wait, is this car even good? 
Is it worth modding Alexis like this? Is there a point? Yes? Why though? It's so good? Okay, I'm, I'm a car noob. Is there a point to lubing stabs? Yes. <laughs> Not really. All the car reviewers hated it in stock form. Imagine doing a vid like this with a keyboard instead of a car. I, I have been... I have been thinking with the idea of like... I mean, it, it would be pretty cool to film keyboard or just like YouTube videos in general from like outdoors places instead of just in a studio. The hard part is getting a quiet enough place though. That'll let you film. Skip to 10. Oh, it is a new video. Yo, is that loose? What made a shake? It wobbled. Oh, the person just walked by and it wobbled. <laughs> yes, this, this is this is what I think of when it comes to car scene videos. This is <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> This is pretty minimal with the edits though. This is this is on the cleaner end of this. But it, it can get a lot worse. Holy, what is that? Why? What? Is half of the I feel like not even half of that wheel is touching the ground at this point. This is too much camber. He probably only has like 20% of the tire actually touching the ground. On a, on, is this a Civic? That's a, this is a Civic, right? <laughs> hmm, questionable, questionable. What? I've never seen that either. This. They mounted their license plate at a Dutch angle? What? I've never seen that actually. Oh, this is a huge meetup. What? Oh damn, she's got some serious camera gear. Holy, I did not expect her to come out with a, a battery gripped camera like that. Crispy. Wait, is this LA sunset? Oh, California license. Oh, this is LA. It's a SoCal meet? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If, if I had, if I had more FU money, I would get into cars, but cars are way too expensive. I don't know if I'll buy a car anytime soon. I'll probably stick to the lease life for a bit. Leasing is the way to go.
We need that key called X work wheels collab. Oh, I don't know what work wheels is. <clears throat> what is your opinion on VIP Bipu cars? I don't even know what you just said. What are these terms you threw at me? <laughs> are you guys that? In is my audience that into cars? I have no idea. Oh my God, this guy has What? Dude. This car gets so low. Hold on. Dude, the bottom here is flat. It goes so low, they dented their nice expensive part. It's on back. No, I'm seeing this pipe here. The, the bottom is clearly flattened. Look, it's flat. There's an edge. Brudu. How much how much are these pipes? They must have spent a lot of money on those pipes, no? And then they just made their car go so low as dented. Ask him mount the car. <laughs> I do like the antennas. The antenna's kind of sick though. It's a vibe having both antennas sticking out like that. Airbag keyboard when? Ooh, maybe that's Moe's next project. Who needs it's, we no longer have gasket mount. We fill, we put little bags of air on the gasket tabs. Ooh. And then you can stick a pump onto the side of your keyboard. You can control how much pressure is in those airbags. Ooh, big brain move right there. <laughs> that could actually be a thing, no? Yeah, I too do not care for having... Is this considered negative or positive camber? I, I don't care for camber on cars. Do you like using waist level... Wait, WLF? Waist level, find, waist level finder? Yeah, waist level finder is pretty dank. Wait, do you shoot medium format, Shaha? Or do you shoot film? That's considered negative? Okay. Zone controllable airbag so that you can control the soft points on keyboard. That might be cool. Not medium format. Mm. I, I, I will say shooting on a waist level finder, I think that might have been one of my favorite like photo experiences period. It just makes the image look so good. I, I can bring one. This makes the image look so good. It might not translate well here because there's nothing to photograph. Yeah, there's no way to describe it, but like when you look at this in person, like shooting through this, it's such a nice experience. It's probably hard to portray on camera, but like everything just looks good through this. And it's just such a, such a pleasure to use. I do like it. What camera is that? This is the Hasselblad 5, 501C. It's a film camera. It's a film medium format camera. Shoots 
Uh, I have the six by six back. I do have a six by seven or six by six four five back. I think. How accurate does the real picture come out relative to the viewfinder? Uh, well, I mean, so this is an older one. There's no metering on this. <laughs> you got a manual exposure either with another tool or something. I guess it depends on your setting, right? I mean, if you expose it clear, if you expose it on the middle, it's pretty accurate. Although some something about this glass, whatever they use for this viewfinder, it just makes the image pop. I don't know how. To, yeah, I don't know. I will say, as a as an ass photographer, sometimes the shot looks better in here <laughs> than on the film because I'm I'm not the greatest photographer. But you just have to see one of these in person. I didn't understand until I, I like got my first film. And I was like, whoa, this is this makes shooting like very fun. And then you can zoom in to get better focus or closer, fo more exact focus. Maybe I'll come by and try sometime. Yeah, yeah. If you're ever back and you want to want to check it out, I can bring it to a meetup or something. It's, it's, a, it's another experience shooting with the waist level viewfinder. Are you going to be a wedding camera on your wedding? No, I'm not going to photograph my own wedding. <laughs> There's this Miranda camera that has a waist level finder. I have this and then I have the RZ, which also has a waist level. Those are my only two with waist level. Yeah. Aaliyah God, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Jaywoo Keys with a nine months. Thank you, thank you. Squishy Viva with a 17. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, I think that is it for today's stream. Thank you for hanging out. Um, who should we raid? Who to raid? Who is live? Who is live? Um, man, everyone's playing Lost Ark. Do we rate XX dubs? We've never rated Patty, I think. Let's give Patty a rate. Oh, no, I probably have rated her in the past. But I don't think I've rated her in a while. Yeah, let's give her a rate. Uh, raid Zinzing Wong. She's playing WoW, but she is also a fellow keyboard content creator slash builder. If you guys have build requests, she is one person to ask. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, please check out the vlog if you guys haven't on Taya Snipes! Exclamation vlog for it. I'm gonna run the ending screen. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ending scene. Where did my ending scene go? Yeah. Yeah, exclamation vlog. I do have three YouTube channels and three Instagram accounts, if you guys don't know. Thank you everyone who donated, gifted, subscribed the stream. Appreciate you guys. This ending screen is for you guys. All right. Have a great evening, y'all. We are going to raid Miss Patty in a bit. Oh, raid message. What crap? What should be the raid message? Uh, raid message. Crap. What should the raid message be? Raid message? Uh, shoot. Crap. <laughs> I don't know what the raid message should be. Uh, okay, I can't think of one. We're going to go with the classic. Raid in game, raid IRL Pog. All right, show us your keyboard as a raid message. Bye bye.